Where did I just jump to? Did I go that far away? Oh my gosh! <laughs> that is not what I meant to do at all! Ahoy, salty dogs. Uh, I'm Cap. We're playing Star Maid today. This is year two of the Star Squadron server. This will be uh, episode one, of course, of year two. So we have reset our server. Now, you've reset the server. Lens Cap, what are you doing in your mining ship if you reset the server? Uh, we saved the capital planet. Um, so we, we copied that over. Uh, there were a couple people who had some important things on the planet that they wanted to keep. So we copied it over. Um, I think it's intermittently. We might do something about that later. Um, but uh, they did copy it so we can kind of save some of our old builds, and I just so happened to still have my ship docked to it. I was going to start fresh um, and everything, and, and I pretty much am going to, but I figured I've got the ship. Why not use it? Um, so I've outfitted it a little bit with some updates. Um, they changed all the key bindings, and it's weird. Um, basically, I just threw some cargo boxes randomly in here so I can... Uh, um, still have cargo <laughs> and still why is there a block missing oh i don't like that at all i don't know what that's about okay anyway anyway is that just standard armor do i have i don't even have it on me let's see if it's in the salvaging this is my chest of majesties okay i've got some I got some blocks there. Let's put it back where it belongs. Um, we can't have blocks missing. That's uh, We can't let our, our atmosphere leak out. That's awful. Why is this? Can I not block place? Where is happening? <laughs> I am so confused. Okay, here we go. That's where the block goes. I can't... I can't place... Can I not blocks? Why is it inside that block? I can place it there. Maybe this has something to do with... Oh, I see. It's There is a block there. It's a slab. Okay. Problem solved. We figured it out. Great job! Go us! <laughs> Uh, so, year two of Star Squadron, um, yeah, we, we, uh, at the end of last, uh, at the end of the last season, or year of the game, I guess, we, um, we did the whaling ship adventure, and that was a lot of fun. Um, expect a lot of collaborations this year. I think we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff with some other people, and, uh, so, so that'll be a big, a big, um, a big driver for our content this year. Kind of breaking the fourth wall a little bit. Bye, fourth wall! <laughs> Um, we, what we're doing as a server, um, I, I just kind of want to lay out an idea of what to expect from year two. Um, we are doing a land grab. We've got two different factions, so to speak. Um, and so everybody, let's start over. So everybody kind of independently is in their own factions. Um, if we go to the faction, let's see, that's my faction. If we go to diplomacy and not place random blocks. Uh, if we go to the diplomacy tab, this shows all the different factions. Um, my faction is privateer, as it was before. Um, but we've got a lot more factions now. We've got the trading cartel, that's Drakart. Uh, the trading guild, which I think is just a regular trading guild. Revenge Inc., this is Garth. Um, pirates are, of course, the pirates. The machine empire, that's Jace Machine. Lost Raiders, there's Fuse. Inglip's Chosen, uh, that's going to be Crazed Nally. DSI, that's uh, Drakart. And uh, De Robin Shield, of course, is Robin Shield. Um, so, and then uh, we've got a couple other people as well, I guess, who haven't made factions. Evil Giraffe, some guy. I'm thinking of them. Uh, but we've got, uh, what we're doing is kind of like a land grab. Um, some people have already started, and I'm a little bit behind. So we'll talk about that in a moment. 
But the gist of it is um, we kind of have, every, while everybody has their own faction, we've kind of got two alliances going. Um, we've got, uh, and I don't remember the names of the alliances. Don't, 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 uh, don't hurt me for that. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I, I'm not playing their games, guys. I'm a pirate through and through. I'm sorry, privateer through and through. There is a distinction. <laughs> um, privateer through and through, so we're not playing their games. We're going to be more like a mercenary for hire and, uh, and work for whoever um, will pay us the best. And we'll talk about that more as we get there. Um, but the idea generally is that the factions have coalitions or alliances, and uh, the idea is grab a sector, kill all the pirates and, and stations in it, and then once you've cleaned out that sector, you can grab another sector, and kind of the uh, coalition with the most land or sectors or, uh, or, or systems um, is the winner in the end. And the end being, of course, an arbitrary the end, quote-unquote. <laughs> as soon as we decide, it's over. Um, like I said, though, I'm not playing. I'm not doing that. I'm not that guy. What, what we're going to do um, as privateers is hire ourselves out to the highest bidder. So we'll do all the underhanded, sneaky stuff uh, that needs to be done um, during war times. Um, we work for money, and... Uh, and we don't uh, we don't give away our clients, so we're we're professional uh, businessmen here. But we'll do raids and stuff on people, and <laughs> it'll be fun. Um, we do have a mutual enemy between all the coalitions, and that is the NPC pirates. Um, of course, everybody hates them, so we're gonna take them out. And uh, I'm not a pirate; I'm a privateer. Um, that's what we're doing this year. So it comes to mind. Um, that I'm talking about the distinction between a pirate and a privateer. And um, I'm sure a lot of people have heard the word privateer before, but don't know what it actually means. Um, so from the wiki, <laughs> um, a privateer was a private person or ship authorized by a government through a legal document called a letter of mark, uh, M-A-R-Q-U-E, if you want to look it up to attack foreign vessels dur during wartime. Privateering was a way of mobilizing armed ships and sailors uh, without having vessels be commissioned into actual warships. It basically let, um, let kings and queens of olden times um, increase their, the size of their navies without having to pay sailors to be navy men. Um, Historically, the distinction between privateer and pirate has been subjective, often depending on the source as to which the label was uh, correct in a particular circumstance. The actual work of a privateer and a pirate is the same, uh, raiding and plundering ships. It is therefore the authorization and perceived legality of the actions that form the distinction. Um, short and sweet... We're not a pirate because somebody hired us to be a pirate. <laughs> um, so that's the difference between a pirate and a privateer. So we're on our way home. Uh, I have already claimed a system to be ours. Um, we live under the beautiful red giant Betus. And... Um, and so that's our, that's our system. We're neighbors with Drakart. Um, so I, th I had claimed, or rather I had decided to settle in the system before he claimed his, so sorry Drakart, uh, if you didn't want any neighbors. Um, I intentionally tried to find a cool looking, uh, star on the outskirts. Um, and it just so happened that we ended up in the same, <laughs> in the same kind of area. Fortunately, we're not in exactly the same system, so that's fine. Um. The, uh, the kind of plot lines uh, that we're playing on this server are going to be, of course, you have your, your station that's your home. Uh, it's indestructible. Um, you know, your faction home is always indestructible, as well as any, um, any entities that are docked to it. Let's see. We need to find in our navigation. They change a bunch of buttons. Space stations. The Salty Shipyard makes a return. Now, currently, the Salty Shipyard is gloriously one block with a faction module on it. 
Um, but we're going to start with our salty shipyard. This likely will not be our home station. Um, I plan on having a few different stations in this sector. But we will, um, you know, we'll settle the beta system as we as we go. Oh no, I passed it. <laughs> the the steering is is uh, definitely different and something I need to get used to for sure. Let's slow down. Gosh, we passed it by a lot. Let's slow way down. Oh man, and stop. Okay, <laughs> now we can go back. Let's, uh, we've got Newtonian physics turned on, or rather, um, the way the thrust works now, you can, you can enable or disable ship by ship instead of, uh, as a server, which I really think that's cool. The inertial dampening, um, option is very neat. Um, I've probably will use the Newtonian physics, although, let's see, what's the key for thrust? Uh, let's turn on the auto dampeners for now while we are while we're in system and then for travel from system to system we'll leave it off that way you don't have to keep holding W <laughs> oh we passed it again crap <laughs> okay we're much closer this time um, anyway we want to start construction on uh, on the shipyard I don't know that we'll be able to get to it today um, for the simple fact that I don't really have anything. Um, I did snag the ship, this ship, the Lancer, um, off of the home planet. Off of Capital Planet, or off of uh, the planet previously known as Capital Planet. Um, I threw some cargo kind of scattered around, but I didn't really go through the inventories. I don't really know what specifically what blocks I have, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, let's take a look together and see what we've got in here. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. I don't really have any resources. Um, I've got some rocks, but I don't really, and some cargo. Uh, but I don't have factories. Uh, I've got some metal mesh, but I have no crystal composite. It looks like we're going to have to go mining and uh, gather some stuff. All right, so I uh, have made my way out to the asteroid fields on uh, in my system. Um, if we hit M is the map key now. It used to be P. Um, I guess they changed a bunch of key bindings, and that's weird, but whatever. Um, you can't see our star, but I, I promise. There it is. Uh, it's huge. And we've got a purple planet that's really close uh, to the star, uh, which is kind of neat. Um, but we've only got one mining ring, which is fine. Uh, we don't necessarily need more than that. Um, we may sneak up here, and Drakkar's got a bunch of mining. We might sneak and steal some if we, if we end up finding some resources we can't get a bunch of. Um, but the plan for now is just resource acquisition. <laughs> uh, we're going to pull up our navigation filter, and we need everything, so I don't have any one particular asteroid I'm after. I'm going to go and take out a couple of these things. Um, salty Shipyard. Let's, uh, let's set a target on this, and we'll go take it out. Uh, hopefully this mining ship still is up, its snuff, is up to snuff. And uh, as well, hopefully, I left myself... We want to turn the radar jammer on. Hopefully, I left myself with um, enough storage space to be able to actually hold all the materials I'm going to gather. Um, we don't need a lot of stuff right off. Um, just the starter stuff so we can build a, build the, the beginnings of the salty shipyard, get a factory down, and uh, start producing some hull blocks um, so that we can kind of... Uh, get started on our station. Um, so this is a lot farther away than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, we need a little bit of everything, so I'm kind of going to indiscriminately mine through this asteroid belt a little bit and just pick up all the things. Um, pick up all the things. I don't know if we're going to save the rocks or if we're going to just jettison them. Um, but while we're mining, I figured I'd talk about some of the plans that I have for um, for the way that I want to play this this year of Star Squadron. 
Um, we do have, kind of like I was mentioning, that land grab thing going on, and, and that'll fuel collaboration uh, between me and, uh, and everybody else. You know, we always want to... Any, anytime we can interact with other people is awesome on the server. We always have a good time playing together, so, uh, so that's important. But I want to be more techni technically um, adventurous uh, this season. So um, I think the first thing we want to do after we've got ourselves a little bit established, you know, we're going to build a basic outpost with some, um, with some mining uh, opportunities. We may even build a mining outpost in the asteroid belt. That could be cool. Um, we want to have a lot of different uh, variety in our content and a lot of different stations um, that we use. Let's switch cameras to a front facing. This one is good. Um, but we want a lot of variety in our in our content and in the ships that we use in the stations that we build. So I'm probably going to build several different outposts. Um, so we'll have one that focuses that's specifically you know geared around combat. We'll have one that's specifically a shipyard. Um, we'll have a mining outpost. Um, you know, we we want to one of the one of the stations I want to build um, pretty quickly actually is going to be a warp gate. Specifically, like that's the entire point of the outpost is to have a warp gate, um, so that we can make it back to quote unquote civilization uh, in the center of the galaxy a little bit quicker. We'll build a corresponding warp gate in the spawn sector as well. Um, so we can get closer to the other players without having to jump 15 times or whatever to get there. <laughs> um, which will be nice. Um, we, I want to be more technologically um, kind of motivated this year. So I want to do things like for our mining outpost, instead of... Uh, uh, they've added, let me start here. They've added some neat features such as the ability to, um, transfer cargo from one docked entity to another automatically. So I want to take advantage of that. And I was thinking of building cargo containers, like a universal, at least a lens cap, um, cargo container that will fit in my ships. And this way I can easily, um, transport my cargo from station to station since I plan on having several outposts. Um, the theory here is that my ships become very, very specialized instead of more general, like uh, like the one I'm flying now. It's more of a general ship. Um, it is a miner, but it has other capabilities, and, and therefore it's not very good at any one thing. Um, so what I wanted to do was build, you know, several ships. Um, potentially we have one ship that is our mining ship. Um, we have, gosh, that's far. Uh, we have one ship that is specifically for mining and maybe it has a smaller cargo hold. Um, but we have one ship that is specifically for hauling, uh, hauling equipment. And so its job is to take those um, storage containers that I was speaking of from one outpost to another you know kind of um kind of like a transport vessel okay now where did i just jump to did i go that far away oh my gosh <laughs> that is not what i meant to do at all i thought i would just jump to my target okay well we need to we need to find our way back <laughs> oops fortunately my jump drives charged pretty quickly um, so yeah, so but that was kind of my plan, um, and that means we'll need to develop infrastructure. Um, we'll need to build some things like, like a like an automatic uh, dock for our um, for our cargo, so we can dock our mining ship. It'll grab our container, put it into storage, and then load an empty container in. That means we'll have to have a lot of containers, which is which is good. You know, um, bigger is better for sure. Um, especially with Star Made, um, bigger is indeed better. And we want to have a variety of options as well. So maybe each of these ships or stations, um, they all work differently or appear differently, but um, we also want to have kind of a universal aspect as well. 
Um, what with the storage containers all being the same, maybe the docking mechanisms uh, being the same, and the way that we load uh, from one ship to another obviously needs to work uh, in a universal fashion so that all of my ships are compatible with each other. Um, so those are the things that we'll work out um, in the coming episodes. It may be a slow start for us, um, to be perfectly frank, uh, because I've got big plans, um, but to enact big plans, you have to start small. And we're starting small today by mining a couple rocks. <laughs> Jeez, these sectors are big. It's so far between stuff. We are going to have to put some overdrive into our ships going forward. I mean, this is crazy. We're going really fast, um, something like 200 meters a second, but... Uh, wow, it's so far between stuff. Like, I'm I'm going from one uh, asteroid group to another, and it's taken me several minutes. <laughs> um, that's cool, though. These are challenges that I wanted to see in this game. Uh, we want space to feel big. It is big. We want it to feel big. We want it to feel empty. Uh, we want this impression that the universe is huge, and it is. <laughs> we want the impression that there's a lot of stuff. Uh, but it's really far apart, and it is, <laughs> and it feels that way, and it's awesome, but we do need to be faster, <laughs> so uh, we're going to have to add some uh, modules onto our ship to get us, uh, to get us up, to, up to speed there. Maybe our next ship that we design, or our first one that we build in the Salty Shipyard, um, once we've got it going, will be a much faster ship. Please stop before we hit the asteroid. Don't bump it. Uh, well, we have the stop cannons if we need to, I guess. <laughs> Um, so anyway, guys, I know this has been a lot of a talk ap episode, um, not a lot of action going on today. Oh, why did that happen? Oh, I had the wrong thing selected. Oops. Oh, now I gotta go all the way back. <laughs> but thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I definitely appreciate you, uh, tuning in, checking out my content. Um, hopefully you liked my video. If you made it this way, this long, all the way to the end, then I presume that you did. Um... Ooh, ram it and Surtees. Let's take this one. Um, if you did like the video, make sure you hit that like button for me. It really helps me out. gets me some exposure on YouTube. And and uh, leave a comment for me as well. If you, uh, if you like the idea between the big stations, I want to hear about it. If you have ideas for further outposts... Oh, Drakkard's on. What's up, Drakkard? Uh, if you have ideas for outposts for me to build, I'd love to hear those. Um, if you have ideas for ship designs, I'd love to hear that. Um, if you think my ideas are dumb, <laughs> if you think it's a terrible idea and that I'm reaching too far, uh, let me know that as well. I want to hear any any kind of feedback, constructive or or not. Uh, if you think I'm a dumbass and you don't like my content at all, feel free to hit that down that dis the dislike button as well. I want to know if you don't like my content also. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, we will see you in the next episode. Hopefully we can get some progress done on the Salty Shipyard.